The number of babies with Down syndrome born in Europe fell by half between 2011 and 2015, according to a new European Journal of Human Genetics study. Meanwhile, just last month, a Colorado health care practice announced it will soon begin offering specialized care to adults with Down syndrome. That is this week's pro-life focus. Bella Health and Wellness, a Catholic-run practice, is partnering with the French Jerome Lejeune Foundation to bring specialized medical care to adults with Down syndrome. The foundation is named after the Catholic and pro-life doctor Jerome Lejeune, who discovered the genetic cause of Down syndrome in the 1950s. Bella Health and Wellness says their care will help the Lejeune Foundation learn more about how medicine works in the U.S. And the French Foundation will share their knowledge on how to care for adults with Down syndrome. Here to tell us more on Skype is Dee Dee Kism, the co-founder and executive director of Bella Health and Wellness. Dee Dee, welcome to the show. Tell us more about this new partnership and why the Jerome Lejeune Foundation was the right match for this. Hello, Catherine. It's so great to be here today. And this is such an exciting time. It's a time it just in our history, right now in our history, even this week in our history, when there's so many things that have people be worried about, mm -hmm. um, it's a great time to have some great news. And as you know, you spoke with um, Madame Lejeune a few years back, and they mm -hmm. talked wow. about this strong desire to bring the care, that holistic care from, from conception to natural death to the United States. And and as they sought that out, um, when we met for the first time, um, they described it as, as, as Bella having the same DNA as the Lejeune Foundation in Paris, that we, we do care in that um, very holistic way, body, mind, and soul, mm -hmm. for the lifespan of an individual. And, and as you were talking about um, the, mm -hmm. the, um, the abortion uh, rates right now, and um, the even the abortions for for Down syndrome, prenatally mm -hmm. diagnosed Down syndrome, um, are still. I mean, they're very, very high, very high yeah. in the world, less high in the United States. But nonetheless, what we all are trying to do is, from that moment of conception, recognize that life, um, and not not make a big judgment on a first impression, but instead embrace every single life and and care for them in in all ways and um to be very honest like care for um, disabilities across a lifespan is suboptimal in the united States, united states including um including down syndrome and mm -hmm. and especially when you get into the older um down syndrome um person mm -hmm. because you know, for so long, their lifespan was much shorter through the work of Jerome Lejeune and, and also because it is the, the largest um, scientific database for Down syndrome in the world, in research, um, it is um, what they have done through their work is they actually have been able to prolong um, the life yeah. of these beautiful gift to yeah. our world of Down syndrome. Dee Dee, and for I, them to be able to yeah. bring that expertise is amazing. Dee Dee, what has been missing when it comes to health care for adults with Down syndrome? And why is it important that this service is provided? Can you speak to that? You know, I think that where it, where it started is that, first of all, Down syndrome people weren't living that long. Um, but, but second of all, um, the, the care in, from, from the infant, the child, um, the teenager, that has even just been growing. All along, it has, um, that's an area that has needed to be, be growing. And I think just from a natural progression, from, from young to old, everybody started with young. Mm -hmm. And, uh, um, but the, the Down syndrome person has unique, um, unique characteristics and, and areas in their lives where they age and um, have illnesses at, at a younger age than perhaps someone without Down syndrome. And so for um, the Lejeune Foundation, who has taken the last several years to refine their care in the, um, in the Down syndrome person as they age, um, they have learned so much about the disease processes that the Down syndrome um, person faces. So as we bring them to the United States, we'll, we'll have a very systematic approach um, in uh, them teaching us 
the, in the care of the Down syndrome person, us being able to welcome many yeah. um, from around the country. And um, so as we go through that approach, um, it will be a wonderful but very um, practical yes. way for us all to learn together yeah. in the care of the it's person. such an exciting announcement and venture, and I can't wait to continue to check in with you. Thanks for being a leader in this region in healthcare. Dee Dee Kism, co-founder and executive director of Bella Health and Wellness. Thank you. God bless you. Take care. God bless.